In a recent tweet, Davido came out to say, Can't wait to see Israel when I get home. The healing not going to be here. That is coming in from Davido at a point like this. I think uh, he always enjoyed the company of Israel to an extent because that guy is funny and makes him laugh from time to time. That is what I believe about the story. For many people that does not know Linz, Linz is one guy that has lasted in the industry and went to oblivion to an extent. And uh, people were not seeing him visibly in the music industry he talked about how he got repented he got touched with the holy spirit and i think that slowed him down from making secular songs at the time but right now this guy is giving us a hint that yes i have a studio i work i do designs and the rest i did for mohit and a lot of others so right now he's coming back to the music game and saying that this time around we are going to do it different davido actually served his scintillating melodies in his timeless album this is a mini review of davido's album you need to understand that yes there are some interesting lines we are going to keep in our hearts in that album and some of the you know songs that came up from that album yes like uh when he said if there weren't tongue liar i'd be david for life that is something that a lot of people have heard strong in this uh timeless album of davido right now and it's a strong point for us to understand that it passes a deep and a hard message out there yes despite of his whole challenges and the whole you know losing some members of uh, 30 pg and his son at the end of the day david was able to come out strong and then that is defeating the demon for real that is something i kind of understand and we have to give it up for him at a point like this and really you know support him at a time davido has that energy to create a kind of lively music and then his energy is at another level that is something i kind of understand about davido and his uh, lyrics is stellar to an extent because uh it tells a whole lot of story in phrases that is what i believe about the lyrics of davido ranging from those days of aye go be um those days of fall if you will understand that davido tells a lot of stories in a big energy and that we have to like you know really appreciate about him in big time he has master the art of conjuring good music and sweet melodies give me one for the road <laughs> yes that is in the no competition featuring ashake which shows why the ashake is a big kroner in nigeria entertainment industry we have to like you know recognize the video to it and was able to bring in ashake on the board and they made a melody out of what they have individually this is the first time of the video working with ashake and that was scintillating that was a perfect moment and the delivery was much ashake who came out with another style of afrobeats was able to merge his own style to that of davido and the energy was at a good level on kante a person of faith provides some suiting tunes on money the caveman and angelic kijo had provided their great talents at a point like this the result of such a higher caliber partnership are surprisingly nothing short from outstanding that is what you need to understand kepta is well known in nigeria music scene and his performance on juju stands out one of the most powerful you know delivery man understanding it from this point of view you will get a bit of the huge story out of it right now davido is in us and was able to deliver his uh, constituency in us last night he had a concert and that was packed full and people were like at the same energy with davido i think uh, you know i have to question davido to an extent because for you to be able to bring back this energy after this kind of things happening to you i think uh, davido needs to share the secret with us and he did that at a recent interview uh, with uh, cnn and spoke about how he was able to do that from the love and support of his uh, fans family members and his loved ones around i think yes that is what he needs now on his twitter page trending right now on, on social media is his recent tweet about israel dnw and said he can't wait to meet israel dnw and the healing not gonna be here that is what the video actually made on his twitter page and you got to understand that yes he loves staying around the video and the video on the other hand loves staying around israel who is like a hype man for him and uh, this guy always 
you know, say some kind of uh, heavy words, praising him from time to time. That made it a kind of a hilarious uh, relationship for Davido and Israel. Davido is one of the biggest act in Nigeria and he's so humble to an extent. That is what I believe about it. He's making us to understand that he's missed Israel for a period of time right now. On this note, what are your own expectations from other concerts of Davido? I think my own expectation is another level of energy because he was able to prove that last night and now he's going to prove that more and more and he's already back in the game hitting the music industry so hard with his timeless album that is taking the day and people are really saying that Davido was able to sit the whole track on his timeless album on Nigerian top charts and some other top charts around the world like the UK top charts people are beginning to understand that Davido is a king in Afrobeat industry. Yes, Lens is one of the biggest Nigerian music art in the past and now he is coming back gradually into music after doing some business around music behind closed doors. So we are getting to understand that this guy got a lot coming. At an interview session or a podcast interview, he said, I was the first Pepsi ambassador in Nigeria. I think we need to have a glimpse of this. I was the first Pepsi and the ambassador. It was me that was the first. So at the time when i was dreaming about doing music i i had ideas for many people that does not know lins lins is one guy that has lasted in the industry and went to oblivion to an extent and uh, people were not seeing him visibly in the music industry he talked about how he got repented he got touched with the holy spirit and the rest and i think that slowed him down from making secular songs at the time but right now this guy is giving us a hint that yes i have a studio i work I do designs and the rest. I did for Mohit and a lot of others. So right now he's coming back to the music game and saying that this time around we are going to do it different. Davido recorded back when at my studio. That is what Lens is saying right now. He has a good relationship with Davido when Davido was still an upcoming artist and he spoke about that in a recent interview and I think we need to catch a glimpse of that. Everybody that is hot right now bubbling. Like yes. even David. David recorded um, back when at my studio with um, Nato, right? Mm -hmm. Nato's verse and then they finished mm -hmm. the song at my studio. And I remember having a conversation with David about his career and his vision right and just advising him on you know i believe in you i like your style your music is hot and you make it but just make sure that you remain humble at that time i'm sharing everything that the ogs two had passed down to me and i had a tour i put david on the tour his first show killed it right and i think that's the, sh the show that he even entered the hour for with his pop scene. after that i also shared stage with david at p square's album launch he came out during my set right mm -hmm. that's those are the things that i look back at today and i see where david is mm -hmm. and i'm like i don't have to still be in the game you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm proud of where this guy is and i'm proud of the fact that when I had the opportunity, I shared it. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.